Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. You are all very welcome to the inaugural Connell Annual Conference, and it's great to see you turn out in such big numbers. We're thrilled with the attendance, so thank you all for coming today. My job is to do a bit of housekeeping before I introduce the chair of Connell, who will introduce our first keynote speaker. Okay, uh, fire escape. If the fire alarm bells sound, uh, please go through the double doors at the end of the room, straight across the corridor. Another set of double doors will take you out to the terrace. And your life belts are under your seats. <laughs> okay, mobile phones on silent are switched off. Okay. Um, we are live streaming all the presentations in this room. Okay. And for anybody who's logging in there, just go to the Connell website conference page, and there's a, a, along the top it says live stream, and click that. Okay, if you're tweeting or twittering, um, it's hashtag ConnellConf15. And now I'm just going to tell you a little bit about the venues. You're in the Marina suite. There are three rooms in this suite. This is Marina 3. And here we'll have keynotes, lightning talks, and some parallel sessions. And the conference dinner tonight will be in this room and Marina 2 next door. This wall will come down, and this is where the conference dinner will be. Okay, the other three breakout rooms, the, Const uh, the Constine, Boswell, and Costum, are left of the re reception, the hotel reception desk, double doors on the left, and all those three rooms are in there. Uh, Pre-dinner drinks are on the ter terrace outside, weather permitting, but we're going to be very positive about that. And uh, the, our sponsors um, and our exhibitors and the posters are all in, I think most of you have seen them now, in Marina One, just to the right of us here. And um, their tea and coffee will be served there at, at 3.15. So you know where lunch is, you had lunch in the elements and that's where breakfast will be uh, tomorrow. We're very grateful to all our sponsors, our silver sponsor, Gail, part of Cengage Learning, our bronze sponsors, Oxford University Press, Ovid, Walter Kluwer, Talis, who are sponsoring teas and coffees, Interleaf Technology and Ex Libris. And our drinks reception is sponsored by Triple I Innovative. And we have poster sponsors, Adam Matthew, Springer, Elsevier, and Royal Society of Chemistry. So very grateful to all of those. And please visit their stands because we have two competitions. And one of them you have, um, these are in your conference packs, right? Hopefully you all got these. One of them is to choose a winning poster. And we have uh, also a prize for the visit to the exhibitors and some questions about the sponsors. Uh, in here. So first prize for that competition is a Toshiba and Toshiba gratefully gave us um, a 32 inch TV and the Connell subgroup on training ANLTC are presenting uh, an award of 100 euro to the second prize winner on that and the training group will also present, ANLTC will present a, a prize for the poster competition of 100 euro. Okay, so you can put your, fill those forms out and there are boxes at the registration desk for each of those. Okay, um, committee are all wearing orange, orange badges, okay? And uh, conference partners who have done a huge amount of work for us in organizing the conference, Sinead, Grania, and Neve will be mostly around the registration desk. So if you have any problems at all, ask committee or conference partners. So now it's my pleasure to introduce the Chair of Connell and Chief Librarian of the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland, Kay Kelly, who will open the conference and introduce our first keynote speaker. Okay, thank you everybody. Thank you, Connell. And good afternoon, Connell. We are all Connell. I'm delighted to actually see so many people here. I believe it's absolutely a sellout. Um, and I guess it's my great privilege to say welcome to everybody who are Connell members and to our guests who are non-Connell members and particularly to Marshall Breeding who I'll be introducing shortly. Um, I guess 
as we have up here, this is the inaugural Connell Conference. And we have to ask the question, Connell has been in business for 40 odd years. How come we're having our first Connell Conference? It's great, it's absolutely great. And I think, you know, one of the things we need to say, this is signaling, I think, a reinvigorated Connell. I, I, I guess it's no secret there's been a lot of change over the last number of the years. Um, it's not only signaling a reinvigorated Connell, it's also we're trying to fill the gap that's been left by um, Inoles and by IUISC. Um, and we hope that this is the first of many, many conferences to come. The, the theme is innovation and evolution. And I guess if we look at Connell as an organization, that theme applies to Connell as an organization. And I reference the changes. I guess, I don't know if any, many of you would be aware that over the last seven years, the Connell top table has probably changed completely, except for Philip, Siobhan, and, and Gobnet. Everybody else is new, and we've also extended membership to the two Northern Ireland universities. So it's a complete change, and that in itself has caused you know, uh, some difficulty, I would say, or challenges in momentum. I'm sure lots of you are aware of, of that. So I'm going to take the opportunity to look at the Connell strategy. But I also should mention one of the reasons that we're having this conference is to recognize the 50th anniversary of Inos. And as recognition of that, there will be a Connell bursary, which Elaine will be talking about tomorrow. So I just want to signal that as well. So one of the things that we have consistently recognized is we've had um, symposium, we've had lots of meetings with senior management groups. One of the things that we haven't had is an overarching strategy, and that I think has been a consistent message back to us. Um, we've had lots of consistent messages back to the, the top table, I think, but that has been one of them. So I'm gonna take some time just to look at the Connell strategy. Um, and we have been working on this for a while. I know it's not the most exciting thing to be talking about, but it's too good of an opportunity not to, to, to go th through some of what we're thinking about. So the purpose of our strategy is to ensure we're meaningful, meaningful to ourselves, meaningful to our constituencies. You know, so what are we here for? Um, we want to engage library staff. I said, you know, the theme of this is we are all Connell. I guess sometimes we've heard, you know, the Connell, Connell's referred to as the, as the Connell directors. You are all Connell. We are all Connell. It's what binds us. You know, it's a consortium of national and university libraries, um, and that's us. And we want to consistently, we've heard, another thing we've heard is that we want Connell to act as the voice of research libraries in Ireland. Um, and for us to be able to do that, we need to to change. Um, so creating the strategy, we did what every group does when they're gonna do strategic planning. We had an away day, whoa. So we had the away day, we set high level objectives, we set three of them, there was a lot of things that we rejected. And I guess we have to focus on what binds us rather than what separates us. That draft has been circulated to the senior management teams within the Connell membership. I understand it should be going to the chairs of all the subcommittees. So if you haven't received that, you will be receiving that. And I guess what I'm at pains to say here is that we are in listening mode. We do really want to have your feedback. And I guess one of the things around what you will see is that it's very raw. And rather than have a polished document, you're seeing it at its very raw, very um, embryonic state. So it's not being wordsmithed, it's not being polished, you know, it's high level concepts and we are really looking for your feedback. You'll see the timeline up there. Um, we were aiming to have this published by the end of the year. And this conference is part of the consultation process. So we are really are looking for your feedback. Just to give you a flavor of what I mean when I say it's not polished, this is, came out of our planning day, the mission, the vision, and the values. I think if we look at the values, first of all, collaboration, innovation, open access, and excellence, I don't think, and I hope and nobody will disagree with that. And I think particularly the collaboration. The collaboration is what binds us as a consortium, and it's also what binds libraries as a profession, I think, is that that's ability to collaborate, which I think we underestimate, and it isn't necessarily in other professions. The mission, um, to care for the past, promote the present, and secure the future of research libraries and their contribution to public life. 
Um, again, this is all up for discussion, for feedback, for input. And a vision, we were asking the question, if Connell succeeded in its mission, what would, it, what, would, what would be different? And I guess our answer to that, again, not polished language, is that we'd have an island which values and utilizes the role and contribution of research libraries in cultural, educational, business, and social life. And I guess one of the things we do really need to be conscious of is our language, particularly when we're talking about um, Connell as an all-island and all-Ireland um, organization. So what were our, our three objectives? These were the top ones. And it, like I said, we rejected, or we deprioritized others. I shouldn't say reject, because they were all good. So these are the three. You'll see that there are goals attached to each of them. Um, some of the feedback that we have have been around you know, the number of goals, the, um, the focus on collections. I guess this is what we prioritize as being really, really important. The, um, the promoting of the collections, and when we say collections, we're talking print and electronic, and as learning and cultural assets. I guess we have that in Connor, we are, you know, we are education and we are cultural. Um, supporting excellence in practice, and that really relates to every one of you. Connell is only as good as every one of us in this room, and particularly every one of you who actually do, do the work. And informing and influencing policy and practice, the role of advocate on behalf of academic and cultural libraries is something that came up time and time again. Some of the strengths of Connell's, and I guess when we say about Connell, what is Connell? You know, why, why do we have Connell? And you know, the directors have had this conversation around the table frequently, I'd say, over the last several years, every time we have a, have a change. It's all Ireland. It's independent, and that independence, I think, is hugely valuable to us as a sector. And it, Connell allows us to be a vehicle for commenting in a way that we can't do maybe within our own individual institutions. We have a research focus, and as I said right now, is education, culture, and heritage is the, the glue that binds us. We are looking, as part of this strategic process, to look at our membership. Um, we say it's by invitation only right now, but I think if we're saying by invitation only, we need to have invitations. Um, I'm not sure that we have done that, so we will be looking at our membership as part of this strategic review. The subcommittees, the subcommittees are really the engine room of Connell um, and have done stellar stellar work over the last number of years. Um, I, as I said, the top table has changed consistently. This, the subcommittees have continued, and the, the work, I don't think we can, we couldn't function without the work that the subcommittees do. They are active, and what we need to make sure is that they are aligned with strategy. And the final one there, advocacy. If I think if anything has come up time and time again, the number one thing that we hear over and over is we want Connell to be a voice. And, I guess if we say, what have we done around that? Well, initially, we stuck our toe in the water just last week. We issued a press statement around condemning Elsevier's new sharing practice. And we signed the Confederation of Open Access Repositories uh, petition also condemning Elsevier's new sharing practice. I guess what struck us when we tried to do this is our aspirations, the gap between our aspirations to be an advocate and our capability and capacity to do that. And I think that's, that's the kind of the learning that we will, we'll, we will need to do. Um, I mentioned the, the subgroups as being really, really active. I think some of the good examples most recently have been the, the research support group, which, which will now be morphing into research environment and services. Excellent um, seminar. The ASO group, I'm just gonna flag there will be a bursary. You have that in your packs, I believe. Um, but that's another, another Connell Award that we will be initiating. And as I said, we're here to listen. We really do want feedback, input. Connell is you. It's not just the top table. It's not the top table at all. And I cannot stress that much, uh, enough. Um, so we are looking for your feedback. The feedback people who have been targeted are, or you can target is... Um, <laughs> Helen Shenton from Trinity, and Chris Pressler from DCU. Um, if you'd like to stand up, <laughs> just so. <laughs> You're at the front. And I guess, you know, we're, we're saying, 
you know, I, we, we're imagining that people will have comments and we want to give feedback. You can give it to Chris and Helen informally by, by right here and now at the conference. You can email them. And I guess if we have enough interest, we thought you know, we'd, we'd try and do a more formal session either at lunch tomorrow or coffee if there's, if there's an appetite for that. So I realize that that is not the main reason that you are here. Um, there's nothing worse than listening to strategic planning, I, I know. So the conference, um, the conference is why we're here. It's, I have to compliment and commend the program organizers and particularly Carmel O'Sullivan and her team in putting together this program. I think it's fantastic, it's exciting, it really does signal a new, a new, a new future for, for Connell. So I want to thank Carmel and the, the, the conference organizers. I want to thank our sponsors um, for their, their support. And I want to thank you most of all for engaging with this new conference, and particularly those of you who have prepared posters and papers. I hope you all enjoy the conference. I think you know this is our opportunity to share. Um, so I wish you well, and thank you very much. <laughs>